Welcome to another epic adventure at Weaverstone House Farms. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna get to see me run like a hamster. What are we doing today, Maggie? We're giving the cows hay. That's what we do. It's about every week it's bale for us. Um, so these are our six by five round bales out of the uh, M&W 1800 baler. And you can see the cows are itching to go ahead and tear into it. So I'll go ahead and get the string cut off. These held up pretty well um, over the winter. And that's all we do. I kept them under tarps. We've got heavy duty tarps. Uh, we got ones that's county line. They're, they're heaviest duty ones that cost the most money, which were white. There it is. Let's get the string out, girl. Come on. Let's get the full string. You got them top two, or what do you got? I'm pulling them out right now. Right. Pull that. Now this was uh, what we refer to as a bale from Nancy's. Nancy's dead, um, so it's somebody else's property that they let us go ahead and farm and get the hay off of because it's just easier for us to do that. So we are ever so grateful for that. This was like 150 pound twine, if I remember right. You can see it. it. Might have been 80 pound, right? 150 pound. I was I was really worried about it because like the manual tells you to use like 600 pound twine or something on it. For what we do, it held up. Now let's look at this bale since it was under tarp. Oh, missed one. Here, Morgan, get that one. You gotta make sure you get all the strings cut. Yeah, all the strings out, because the way we do it, then we go ahead, while we're done, if you take a look, this, you see right here, come on out, it's really well What we do, you see where the round bale is, round bale is, or was, you know, was. You can see the pile, 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 pile. And we keep moving it. So that's one reason, um, here, let's see, you're not looking in the sun. That's one reason that with this, and then that barn, we drag the barn, so show the barn too. So we drag that along, um, and as we do, then we're gonna come through this year. It's the first time that we're gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and grind this under. We'll, we'll uh, till it, and then we'll go ahead and reseed it. We'll probably uh, put some lime on it too, but. So this is getting the nutrients in here. This is getting what is needed to go ahead and rebuild these pastures. It's slow and it's one winter at a time, but it works for us. So, all right, I promised you the hamster. Let's, let's see if we can <laughs> Morgan, here, yeah. uh, twine. guy. <laughs> no 
Fade now, be good for about a week, give or take. And that's with those three cows. Um, and then the sheep. How many sheep we got? Well, currently out here on pasture. Four. So, all right, cool. And should have little lambs. So, first day of spring, we're here at Weaver's Stone House Farms. Chickens are out running around too. See them? We gotta go ahead and drag and move their barn too. Oh boy, there's always something to do. <laughs> Enjoy, see y'all later. So a continuation of dragging, right? So what are we dragging around? The chicken coop. The chicken coop. So hopefully this thing pops loose um, and we can go ahead and get this pulled out too. We've got the toe strap tied around it and um, we're just gonna go ahead and move it forward. So see if it works. Beauty. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Leia. So what are we doing now? What are we doing now? On this next epic adventure at Weaver Stone House Farms. We are moving the drag along behind barn. Now uh, the one mistake I made on this is I didn't put it on steel on the bottom. I put it on a bunch of two by fours that are treated tacked together. But hey, it is what it is, and it's lasted for a number of years. And if I gotta replace the bottom or put it on something, that's okay. So how do you move it? You drag it. So let's call it the drag along behind barn. Yes, I know. Take the time. Put this crap away. You can. All right, I don't. <laughs> Gathered up here. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to tie this onto the tractor, put it around the barn, and pull it. Now we tried it earlier, a couple weeks back, and the ground was still frozen pretty hard, so this was frozen fast. The only do with this is take the mouse trap off. Hook it up here. Put the mouse trap back. All right. Then the other thing about the mess. Got her. The summertime, we put the uh, gutter in place down to a water bucket, so then the cows have water too. So it's, it's useful, right? Mm -hmm. and they rub their heads on it all the time, constantly. So what do we have to put back in there? We got to put screws back in. See how that lays there? Then it lays over top of those skids. So what you want, that's fine. Alright. Coming up. 
off here. Okay. Keep the next mouse trap off. There. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah, let's pull. Let's see if she'll go anywhere. Make sure there's nobody or nothing in here. I'm not real sure if it's going to move or not. This ground we're standing on is still pretty froze. Oh, eggs. Chickens right in here. We should probably get those out. I wonder where all the eggs went. Yeah, spring and we're still froze up pretty hard. Let's see. And she moves! Definitely better. Definitely better. So that's the thing. We move it through the summer too and through the fall. I mean, when you get in the heart of the winter and it gets froze up, um, what we do is we just keep putting fresh hay on. We try and get out as much poop as we can, throw the patties out, throw the patties out until it gets really froze bad where it's all stuck. And then we just keep piling the hay on. Um, you know, for a couple of months, that's okay. A few months in our case, because we're always freezing cold up here and snowing. But here it is then through the summer again, we can just keep moving them out um, just like we do with chickens. So this is a, you know, a tip I learned from reading Joel Salatin's from his Polyface Farms books. Not exactly like his, but we adapted it, right? Because one of the things he says is adapt. Well, we adapt it. I made it close enough. Um, and here we are. Awesome. All right. Well, may the peace of the Lord be with you and have a great spring.